Hello friends, again I come over here with another trigonometry uh, word problem. Here is, question is saying, from the top of the 7 meter high building, the angle of elevation of the top of the cable tower, okay, one here is one building and here is another, another building or tower, is 60 degree and the angle of depression of its foot is 45 degree, determine the height of the tower. Hmm. First, we need to pictureize it as uh, I am telling you since long. First, you know, whenever we are getting problem, we should be able to uh, make the figure of that. We should be able to draw the figure. Once we make the picture, you know, then it becomes very easy. It will be really easy. So, let me try to draw the picture according to the question, okay. Here, from the top of the 7 meter high building. So, let me first draw a 7 meter high top building. Suppose this is my 7 meter top high building. And the... Uh, and the angle of elevation of the top of the cable tower is 60 degree right now another cable tower we do have and where we are watching actually and which is bigger than this and whose top we are going to watch so let me make here another cable tower now this is my cable tower and you know actually both are in the same level of ground so I need to make the same level of ground alright both are in the ground so both have the same level and now as per the question uh, from here this top of this I'm going to watch the top of this tower well, Okay, fine. This is the top of the tower, right? And When I was actually looking at the top of this cable tower my angle of elevation With the horizon is 60 degree now see here the angle of elevation of the top of the cable tower when I, I was at the top of this cable tower my angle of elevation was 60 degree and the angle of depression of its foot is 45 degree now from the same point if someone is uh, looking at the foot of this here then the angle of depression now angle of depression with the horizon is 45 degree okay so now determine the height of the tower so we need to find out the height of this whole height of this tower how much meter it is we need to find out the height okay so as per the question we have 7 meter tall building okay so this is my 7 meter tall building and I have got two angle of one elevation and another I have got angle of uh, uh, depression since uh, this is you know this this both are like this ground is parallel to the horizon so that's why I can say parallel lines and due to uh, alternate interior angles are equal so this angle and this angle will be equal so this will be my 45 degree am I right yep so now I have two triangles, two right angle triangles. Next step is to find out which are our right angle triangles. So I have two right angle triangles. Let me first give the name. My first right angle triangle is triangle A, B, C. And my second right angle triangle is tr right angle triangle A, D and E. Alright, now look at this. Uh, in both of the right angle triangle, next step is what is common? Th th that is our next step. In every type of this, this concept problem, this this is our step. So go step by step. First, you should draw the picture, and then uh, give the name to the right angle triangles which there are. And after that, you need to see what are the common things here. Now, if you look in both triangles, now see. So here, actually, in this triangle ABC, our base is BC, right? This BC is our base, and if you look just above this, here you had got AD right so here ad and bc are actually same you know so in both triangle ade and in triangle ade the base ad is there and in the same uh, in the, the same length the bc have and which is the base of the another triangle abc so there is some relationship and due to the help of this relation we are going to finish this whole problem all right now see here first what I, what i will do now i will i will walk on the smaller triangle first a b c and uh, uh, then i will try to find out this part this base and since this base is equal to this then i will get this one also right so once i will get this base then again i will find out this one because a b is here and exactly equal you will get here so this is 7 meter this is already known to us Alright, now we just have to find out this DE part and to find out the DE part only one trick we have if we get one any side of this either we are getting AE or we are getting 
AD. Out of this, by using the trigonometric ratio, we can find out AD. But here, getting A is no way. You know, we, are, we, we don't have any way to find out A. So we must have to get this one. And that is the link actually they had given for us. The question is giving a link that from the triangle ABC, first find out the base. And your base is going to equal with the base of this triangle. And with the help of this base and this angle of elevation, you are going to find out ED. Alright, so let's do one by one. Let's walk first in the triangle ABC. So in triangle, right angle triangle, it is actually ABC. What we can use now? Yes, this is 45 degree, right? And now you should know how to choose the ratio also. See, here is the perpendicular and here is the angle. And we, you need to find out the base. Angle is there, perpendicular is there, right? Perpendicular is there and angle also you know and base you need to find out, right? So relationship between the P and B, that is tan or cot. But I always prefer tan, right? So that's what I'm going to use here now. Tan. 45 degree. Oh, that's almost invisible. Tan 45 degree. So tan 45 degree is actually now AB over BC. AB over BC. And tan 45, everybody know that is 1. And the value of AB is actually 7. And the value of BC you got recently now which is going to be 7. You haven't got but now you get it. Alright. So now BC is going to be 7. So this whole length you got is 7 meter. Right. So now this is also going to be 7 meter. So now you know again base. You know the angle of elevation and you need to find out the perpendicular here in the triangle. So in triangle, I mean in right angle triangle ADE. Again, uh, now we are going to use the another value. Uh, I mean, uh, tan 60 degree, right? Tan 60 degree. Why I use tan? Because I was knowing the base and I need to find out the perpendicular. And the relationship between the perpendicular and the base is actually tan, right? So that's why tan 60 is going to be equal with ED over ED over the base that is AD. And tan 60 is actually root 3. And ED is how much? Yep, uh, ED we need to find out. And AD, 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 addition we get 7, right? So from here I can say my ED, right? 7 multiply this root 3, so you will get 7 root 3. So this distance also you get this is 7 root 3. So what is the complete length now? What is the complete length? Yes, the complete length is actually now. 7 plus this 7 root 3. This much that is 7 and this much that is 7 root 3. 7 root 3. So you're going to get 7 common and you'll get 1 plus root 3. So the complete length of this you got is the height of the cable tower is now 7 in the bracket 1 plus root 3 meter. I hope you understand. So here, let me review the all step one by one. First, we try to pictureize the problem and after that, we see what is the common part, right? And we got the common things here. And with the help of this, we are trying to find out now ED because DC is already known because height of the building and the parallel line it is. So DC is known and we need to find out ED to get the whole length of the EC. And then I apply it in the triangle ABC. Uh, 1045 degree that is AB over BC actually one more trick is there to find out BC since this is 45 degree this is 90 degree right and this must be 45 degree so two angles are going to be equal means this is isosceles triangle so directly you can write AB is equals to BC here here if you write uh, AB equals to BC equals to 7 meter you can directly write and give the reason because this is a isosceles triangle isosceles triangle all right why is this triangle? You got it, right? This is 90 degrees. So it, it, if it is 45 degrees, it must be 45 degrees. And once you get the BC, it means you get AD also. And once you get AD, now you apply the triangle. In this triangle, apply the uh, sub, uh, uh, the required ratio. Uh, the required ratio here, because you need to find out the perpendicular and base you had got. So between the uh, perpendicular and the base, we have a very good relation. That is tan. So tan is actually ED over AD. ED over AD and you put the value of ED recently, uh, sorry, we get the value of ED by putting the value of AD here. Tan 60 is root 3 and AD is 7. So 7 root 3 you got the value of ED. Now you need to find out the whole height in which you got already 7 root 3 and 7 was already given. So 7 plus 7 root 3 that is 7 
plus 1 plus root 3. Further you can do if you want 7 plus uh, like 1 plus 1 1.73 and in that way by adding you can go like 7 times 2.73 and you'll be getting something like 15, 16, I don't know. Anyhow, like like this you need to, tr uh, you need to solve it, alright. Uh, I hope you understand this. You know, the again I want to just tell you, try to picturize the problem. Once you picturize the problem, then it becomes very easy to solve the problem, alright. So we'll be meeting the next video. Bye-bye.